properties. My learning target is I can generate equivalent expressions using the properties of operations, such as inverse, identity, commutative, and associative. So first we are going to talk about the identity property. So the identity of addition is if you add zero to any number, the number stays the same. So for example, six plus zero is still six. The multiplication identity property is if you multiply any number by one, the number stays the same. So for example, eight times one equals eight. All right, now we're gonna talk about the commutative property. So if we are talking about the commutative property in addition, This is when you add two or more numbers. If you add them in any order, the answer will still be the same. So an example would be if you did four plus five or five plus four, both sides of the equation are gonna equal nine. So four plus five is nine and five plus four is also nine. All right, then we have the commutative property of multiplication. And this is when you multiply two or more numbers, multiplying them in any order, the answer will be the same. So for example, five times six is 30 and six times five is also 30. All right, now we are gonna talk about the associative property. So if we're talking about the associative property with addition, This is when you are adding two different numbers. You change the order you are adding them by moving the parentheses and your answer will still be the same. So for example, three plus two is five plus seven, this equals 12. If you move the parentheses, this is nine and nine plus three also equals 12. All right, then we have the associative property for multiplication. And this is when you multiply two different numbers, you can change the order that you are multiplying them by moving the parentheses and your answer will still be the same. So for example, five times six is 30 times two is 60. Then we have five times 12 and that is also 60. All right, lastly, we have the inverse property. So the inverse property of addition says a number added to its inverse, which inverse means opposite, it equals zero. So an example would be four plus negative four equals zero. Then we have the multiplication inverse. And this is when a number multiplied by its inverse or opposite equals one. So in this example, that would be seven times negative seven, or I'm sorry, seven times one seventh equals one. All right, 
we're going to do these practice problems on the bottom. This says use the identity property to fill in the blank. So we are using the identity property. So if we remind ourselves of the identity property, we're either adding zero or multiplying by one. This looks like we are adding zero. So 15 plus zero equals 15. All right, now we are going to use the commutative property to fill in the blank. So this is where we can add the numbers in different order and still get the same answer. So blank plus 4 equals 4 plus 9. That's going to be 9 plus 4. We can prove that to be true by 13 equals 13. And we could prove this one to be true. 15 equals 15. All right, this one we are using the inverse property to fill in the blank. So this is where the opposite of the number added to it is going to equal 0. So this is going to be 13. So 13 plus negative 13 is 0. So both of these are the same. All right, number four, use the inverse property, or I'm sorry, use the associative property to put the parentheses in the correct place. So this is where we move the parentheses and the answer is still going to be the same. So we are going to move it here. And 6 times 2 is 12 times 5, which is 60, which also equals 6 times 10. So that's 60 equals 60. All right, number five, use the inverse property to fill in the blank. So three times its opposite equals one. So that'd be three times one third. Number six, says prove the commutative property to be true. So I know that 1 plus 7 is 8 and 7 plus 1 is 8. So since both sides of these equations are equal, it is true. This says prove the associative property to be true. So I have 11 plus 7, that's 18. And then 8 plus 10, which is also 18, so both sides of the equation are equal, so I've proven that to be true. Lastly, number 8, it says prove the inverse property to be true. 18 plus negative 18 is 0, so both sides of the equation are true. 0 equals 0, so that means the inverse property is true.